Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's video, I want to show you guys how to draw an Ender Dragon surprise fold. So I hope you guys follow along and enjoy this video today. Now, to start off with this, we're going to fold our paper. So I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to fold it in half so I make a kind of like birthday card shape. Then I'm going to turn it this way and I'm going to fold down this front flap right down to that fold. Then this allows me to open it up like this. Or you can turn it and you can open it up this way. Now, to start off with our Ender Dragon surprise fold, we need to begin with the egg. So I'm going to start right here in the middle of my fold, and I'm just going to make a nice straight line down the middle, best you can. That's a little hard because you have that fold there. Now, starting right across here, I'm going to start right about here, and I'm just going to make a little line that's going to go across here. So it looks kind of like a big plus sign. Now at the top, I'm going to make a little line that goes down on each side for like a little angle. And then starting down here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go out a little bit farther than I did on the top. Next, I'm going to draw a little line that comes up on each one. And then on this line that I drew, I'm going to draw a line that comes down. And then I'm going to make a nice diagonal line that just comes down. Or you can make it go up, whatever you want to. And I just want to connect these lines here. Now, starting up here, I'm going to draw a little line that's going to come up on each side. And I'm going to make a line that's going to come up. And then I'll make one that just goes down to this. I'm going to start here. I'm going to make another line that's going to come up on each side. And I'm going to go up. And I'll just bring this one down. And right here, I'm just going to make a little line that comes down on each side. For kind of just kind of like a crazy looking little box shape for the Ender Dragon egg. Now, I'm going to open this up. And I've got these two little lines here. So I'm going to go and I'm going to make this line come up a little bit. And I'll make this one come up a little bit. And then I want this one to come down a little bit on each side. Then I'm just going to continue this line down, and I'm going to continue this line up. Now I'm going to take this, and I'm going to draw a line that goes up. And then I'm just going to make a couple kind of like broken geometric shapes like this. They're just going to go up and down, just so it kind of looks like it might be kind of cracked open. I'll make this one go down a little bit, and I'll do the same thing here. I'm just going to make these kind of look like they're broken open, just like that. Now, once you're done with that, then you can close it up, and you can see we have our Ender Dragon egg, and then when you open it up, we have it all open and ready for our inside. So right inside of here, we're going to be making the Ender Dragon. Now, to do this, I'm going to make it so his face is at a little bit of an angle, just so we can see some more detail of him. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start here, and we're going to make a line that's going to go down. It's going to come over and over here. Next, we're going to make a line that's going to come down here, and this is going to be the front of the nose. Next, I'm going to make a little line that goes up, over, and down, and another one here, up, over, and down for the nostrils. 
Next, starting here, we're gonna make a line that goes down just a little bit, and one that's gonna come up a little bit at an angle. Then just draw a line that comes down. Now the next step is for the mouth. Let's draw a line at an angle here, and we'll make a line at an angle right here. Let's make a line that comes across here, with two lines coming down, and a third one right here. I'm gonna connect these lines together with a nice straight line for each one. Starting here, I'm gonna make a line that goes up. We're going to come over to here. We'll come a little bit farther. Next, we're gonna come down and over here. Starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's gonna come down and another one that's gonna come a little bit higher up. Next, just connect them. Now, starting here, I'm going to make a line that comes across. We're gonna make a line that goes up and over, up and over, and then down here. We'll do the same thing here. I'm gonna go over just a little bit. We're gonna go up and over, up and over, and then come right to here. I'm gonna draw a little line down on each side. We'll draw one right there. Now, right inside of here, I'm going to make a line that goes up, over, and down, and we'll put one here. We're gonna go up, over, and down. I'm gonna make a line that comes down at an angle and then goes straight down. We're gonna go down at an angle and then straight down. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that's gonna come down, and one more here, and we're gonna make another one right here for the neck. On the back of here, I'm gonna make a line that goes over, down, and back over. And I'll put another one here, over, down, and then back over. And starting here, I'm gonna add some wings real quick. I'm gonna begin here. We're just gonna make a line that goes up, over, and down. Then I'll make one here. We're gonna go up, over, and down. Next, I'm gonna start right here. We make a line that goes out, down, and then it's gonna come straight back for another long, skinny rectangle. And we'll do the same thing over here. We're just going to go over, up, and then come back over. Then starting here, I'm gonna make a little skinny rectangle here. One a little bit longer here. And I'll make another one right here. I'll just do three lines here. Then we'll do the same thing over here. A little skinny rectangle. One more here. And then we're going to, we'll leave this one alone. We'll just put one right here. Next, I'm gonna make a line that's gonna curl up to here. And I'll do that right in between each one. This one we'll just connect to here connect to here, and go right up to there. And there you go, there is your drawing of a little Ender Dragon egg surprise fold. When I close it up, we have our little Ender Dragon egg, and when you open it up, you have an Ender Dragon in here. And there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.
Thank you.